Solving multi-step equations with decimals. If there's decimals involved in the problems, that's no problem for us. The steps are exactly the same to get down to just that variable. Let's take a look at this first one. We have 0.4x plus 9.2 equals 10. First step is going to be to get rid of that plus 9.2. So to do that, we do the opposite, minus 9.2 on both sides of our equation. So minus 9.2, minus 9.2, bring down what we have left. We have 0.4x, these cancel out, equals 10 minus 9.2, that's 0 0.8. Then we want to get that x by itself. To do that, we're going to divide by this 0.4 that's being multiplied by the x. We do the opposite division, divide by 0.4 on both sides. Bring down what we have. These cancel out. We get our x by itself, which is what we want. Then we can get our handy dandy calculator here to work with. And we have 0.8 divided by 0.4 which gives us 2. So our answer is x equals 2. Let's take a look at this next one. Here we have a problem where we've got the parentheses so immediately into our head should pop the distributive property. Our first step is going to be dis to distribute that 0.4 through the parentheses to get rid of them. That means we're going to multiply 0.4 by a and 0.4 by 2. So 0.4 times a is 0.4a, then 0.4 times 2 gives us 0 0.8, and we bring down that equals 2. We've gotten rid of the parentheses, so now we can go to work on this equation. Our first step is going to be to get rid of that minus, uh, the plus <laughs> 0.8. To do so, we do the opposite, minus, so we subtract 0 0.8 on both sides of our equation bring down what we have left so here we have 0 0.4a equals 2 minus 0.8 gives us 1.2 then our final step get that a by itself will be to divide by 0.4 divide by 0.4 on both sides this cancels out we bring down what we have left a equals 1.2 divided by 0.4 let's go back to our calculator here we have 1.2 divided by 0.4 gives us 3 let's take a look at this last one 1.2 C plus 2.6 C equals 4.56 We've got C's here and C's here. We need to combine some like terms as our first step before we can work at getting that C by itself. So we want to combine the 1.2 C's plus the 2.6 C's. That would give us 3.8 C's or 3.8 C. Bring down what's left over here, 4.56. Okay, then we want to get that C by itself. It's being multiplied by the 3.8. To get rid of it, do the opposite. We divide by 3.8 on both sides. This here cancels out. We're left with just C equals 4.56 e divided by 3.8. Let's get our calculator. 4.56 divided by 3.8 equals 1.2. So our answer is C equals 1.2. Now let's go back to that first problem and look at one other way that we can work with this type of um, problems that involve the decimals. Let's switch colors here and go back to this first problem. I'll just rewrite it down here first of all. 0.4x plus 9.2 equals 10. Now if we're not a big fan of working with the decimals in these problems, what we can do is multiply by a power of 10 that will get rid of the decimal. 
And remember, each decimal move is a times 10. So if we need to move the decimal one spot, we're going to multiply by 10. If we're going to move the decimal two spots, then we're going to multiply by 100, and so on. So here we just have one decimal spot on both these numbers. To get rid of it, we can multiply by 10 on each piece. So times 10, times 10, times 10. I multiply this by 10. All it does is moves the decimal over one spot. If you don't believe me, let's look at the calculator quick. 0.4 times 10 gives us 4, sure enough. So we have 4x, then 10 times 9.2, 9.2 becomes 92, and here we have 10 times 10, which is 100. Then, to solve this, we don't have any decimals anymore. Our goal is still to get that x by itself, get rid of the plus 92, so we minus 92. Subtract 92 on both sides, those cancel out, bring down what we have left. 4x equals 100 minus 92 is 8. Last step, we've got 4 times x, get rid of it, divide by 4, bring down what we have left, x equals 2. Same deal. So if the decimals just aren't convenient to work with at a particular time, remember that you can multiply by a power of 10 in the problem to get rid of those decimals. If it's one decimal spot, if there's two decimal spots to get rid of, like here if we wanted to get rid of that, we'd need to multiply each piece by 100 should move it two spots to the right and so on. Solving multi-step equations with decimals, same steps as what we used with integers, just we have some numbers that maybe aren't quite as nice to work with.